Okay, so you're on your iDevice, just make sure to have Bluetooth Wi-Fi enabled, so just have it connected. And then once you get it kind of close to your Apple TV, just go on your iPad right from my touch into settings, and you guys should see a screen like this. Okay, so I pretty much I pretty much had to touch my Apple TV with my iPad in order to sync up. But right now I can touch setup. Okay. In this case, I don't have a passcode for this thing. So I'm going to have to go into settings, set up the passcode in order to do this. But if you guys have a passcode, you guys can go on with the setup. So I'm supposed to see an authentication number on my Apple TV. So there it is. I'm going to see that on my iPad. So I'm going to have to type that in. It's going to be different for everybody. So don't copy the one that I just put in. That's randomly made by Apple. It's going to change every single time. Okay. So again, that's not the setup. Anyways, on your iPad, iPhone, Apple Touch, you guys will see this. And then on your Apple TV, you will see that. So that's going to set up Wi-Fi. That's going to set up quite a few things, actually. So it's going to make the whole setup process much, much easier. Although it's setting up Wi-Fi, you guys should keep your iPhone, iPad Touch pretty close to your Apple TV. Not touching it, <laughs> but pretty close. After that, you guys will see this. You guys can choose what you guys want. But on your, your iPhone app touch, you guys will see this, which you're finished, just select done. And then you guys can keep going with this setup. So what I suggest doing is not to require it, but it's up to you guys, okay? So I'm gonna choose never require, because I don't care. This is more up to you guys again, but if you wanna keep your apps and home screens up to date on every app to be using this iCloud, you guys could use this and turn it on. In my case, I'm just gonna turn it on. Yeah, sure, why not? And then I'm gonna choose that I do want them to know my location. So, there we go. And this stuff will take a couple gigs, so I wouldn't. I'm gonna say not now, because it does take up almost one gig. It's a lot, 800 megabytes. It's almost a gig. So I would not do it. I don't recommend doing that. Okay. Analytics, I would always send. They're just making products faster. So I don't mind. Yes, they're taking your privacy away and so on. But trust me, they're doing it anyways. Analytics, share with developers. I do. And terms and conditions, you have to agree. So the other ones, you guys could have said no. But terms and conditions, you guys have to. So the first thing you guys should do with your Apple TV is actually go down into settings. Okay. From settings, what you guys should do is just update your system just in case. So go right down into system. So you guys can scroll down just by going down your remote, select software updates. And from here, you guys should update your software. So the very first thing you guys should do. I'm not gonna do it right now because it takes forever and I wanna show you a couple things before I let you go. So that's where you guys do the updates. If something goes wrong with your Apple TV, maybe Netflix, it's glitchy. It's not letting you log in or uh, it's just glitchy. It's not playing or whatever. For whatever reason, you guys should always check your updates. Most likely it's an update that you guys need to do and that's why it's acting up. Something else you guys should do is reset your Apple TV. So from there, if you guys go to reset, you guys should reset, okay? If something, again, is glitchy, it's wrong, that will fix it for sure. Apple TVs don't have that many things. Something else that you guys do want to download is YouTube, Netflix, you guys will not see that. Those are free. You guys can do it right here from the Apple Store. So just scroll up, Apple Store, they're free again. Just search for them. You can, you can even press Siri on your remote control. So right now my remote control, let me just try to focus in so you guys can see it. You guys will see Siri up here. If you guys hold it, so again, you guys have to hold it, say what you want, and then it's gonna understand you, okay? So you guys could tell Siri to look for YouTube for you, so you guys can download the app. I use Siri quite a bit, so for most of you, YouTube's the biggest thing, highly recommend it. Netflix, obviously, and then you guys have other ones. And there's actually a few things, a few apps that let you watch live TV. And uh, I have a few games already set up here. 
And that's because on my account with my other Apple TV, I already have these apps. So automatically they download onto this Apple TV. All right, so if you guys do have other Apple TVs, they can all be synced with the same apps or you guys can have individual apps on each Apple TV. It's all up to you guys. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here within the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.